Thank you so much. Dear colleagues, it's, uh, okay. oh, it works. Uh, dear colleagues, um, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here again and to share with you uh, our new results. Um, so what I'm going to tell you within the next minutes refers to recovering uh, the body immune systems, uh, system after quitting smoking and whether it is influenced by using e-cigarettes. Uh, so the, uh, 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 the following issues outline the background of our uh, study. First, uh, astonishingly, many of, uh, of the adverse and uh, uh, perhaps even benign effects, why not, of smoking may result from the ability of uh, cigarette smoke to suppress the immune system. And the K immune cells, um, the neutrophils, neutrophils uh, are subject to reprogramming by smoking to adapt uh, to the state of potentially responsible for chronic uh, smoking-mediated immune suppression. And after quitting smoking, the immunity is supposed to exhibit a delayed restoring. And uh, last but not least, according to uh, the statistics, uh, over 90% uh, of users of alternative nicotine delivery systems are former and uh, uh, current smokers. Uh, as the purpose of our work uh, pertains specifically to studying the activity of peripheral blood, uh, neutrophils uh, in users of alternative nicotine delivery tools and in smokers. Um, in the context of our study, I should stress that uh, neutrophils are of prime importance for punching our immune system and their activation and priming uh, uh, by uh, physiologically active agents uh, such as uh, cigarette smoke and its uh, metabolites um, uh, uh, modulate our immunity. Uh, and uh, here our message is that uh, the lung of a healthy smoker uh, serve uh, as uh, a demodulator of the activity of neut neutrophils um, while uh, ca causing their depriving while uh, injured and inflamed lungs, lungs um, uh, in, injured and inflamed, inflamed lungs, uh, the stimuli of uh, priming are generated uh, permanently. Uh, uh, as for the experimental part of our uh, study, uh, the salient uh, uh, points of our methodology are the following. Uh, so we involved uh, three a uh, group of volunteers, uh, never smokers, former smokers, and current smokers, and uh, instead of using their whole blood for, um, uh, for further experiments or isolation of uh, neutrophils, what we, what we did, we did a spontaneous sedimentation of erythrocytes and used not merely the buffy coat like, uh, in, uh, uh, like people often do, uh, but we used uh, uh, the whole rest, uh, I mean w w everything what is above uh, uh, the erythrocyte fraction. So uh, it was in fact, in fact, um, uh, a con I, w I would say a, a, a contingently uh, whole blood. So the blood uh, which contains everything uh, except erythrocytes. And uh, uh, then we uh, then they, we, we monitored the generation of reactive oxygen species uh, uh, by monitoring uh, zymosin-induced luminol-enhanced uh, chemiluminescence. And here you can see the difference between, uh, uh, between uh, generation of reactive oxygen species uh, in this contingently whole blood before uh, and after smoking, the, the smaller signal uh, refers to the, the blood taken uh, in the morning, uh, 10 hours or after the last contact with, with, uh, with a cigarette, while the bigger one uh, pertains to the, the blood sample taken uh, one hour, uh, one and a half hour after smoking. Uh, so uh, in, 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 such a, in such a process, uh, the major producer of, of reactive oxygen species uh, are neutrophil, neutrophils in their 
activated state. And uh, the, uh, the main results are the following. Uh, so first of all, we were interested in, uh, uh, in the correlation between, uh, uh, between, the, um, uh, between the rate of the uh, generation of reactive oxygen species and uh, uh, the whole concentration of, uh, uh, of uh, leukocytes. Uh, as, as you can see, the correlation exists, but a very weak one. So only uh, uh, up to uh, one uh, up to 12 percent of uh, uh, of um, uh, of the um, uh, of the rate of the uh, reactive oxygen species generation uh, was determined by by the concentration of leukocytes. What does it mean? That means that uh, uh, not uh, all the uh, um, leukocyte concentration. Uh, is responsible uh, responsible for the generation of uh, reactive oxygen species, but but its fraction, uh, which uh, which is uh, um, uh, uh, the concentration of uh, uh, prime cells, and uh, now uh, the very very good news for ex smokers come. Uh, so the main results, uh, the most interesting results, uh, the result was obtained for um, ex-smokers. Uh, however, during the first year after quitting smoke, uh, smoking, no significant uh, changes in the activity of uh, neutrophils uh, were observed. Okay, the changes, uh, there were the changes, but very, uh, very, very, very small one, ones. Uh, but after a longer period, uh, of abstinence, uh, uh, say from uh, 2.5 years, the changes uh, 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 have occurred uh, and for the better. Uh, and as for smokers, um, the neutrophils uh, expectedly were predominantly uh, preactivated um, in uh, uh, their blood. Uh, and uh, how about e cigarette users? Uh, how about uh, users of tobacco heating systems and dual users. Uh, the main trick uh, is coming uh, now. Um, uh, so we, by this moment, uh, by, uh, so to date we, um, we have examined only um, six users of alternative uh, um, nicotine delivery systems. They were all uh, ex-smokers, um, uh, including uh, three uh, users of electronic cigarettes and three users of tobacco heating systems with um, more than one year experience. And we also examined the blood, the blood of uh, six uh, dual users, uh, which combine smoking um, regular cigarettes and using uh, the uh, alternative nicotine delivery systems, either um, e-cigarettes or tobacco heating systems, for more than two years of experience. Uh, and of course, if you, uh, if you, uh, uh, as you can understand, this, this are the preliminary data, and so in the mm, uh, for for the dual users, uh, prooxidant potential of neutrophils uh, um, is higher than uh, in uh, both in the cases of ordinary smokers and users of uh, alternative nicotine delivery uh, systems, uh, while uh, users of electronic tools compared to smokers exhibit, exhibited only slightly better results after one year of switching to uh, alternative nicotine delivery tools. Uh, uh, so the optimistic result, uh, we believe that the optimistic result of our study consists in finding that the increased activity and concentration of uh, uh, circulating uh, 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 cells of uh, immune system characteristics for smokers uh, normalizes uh, to the state uh, typical for non-smokers uh, um, uh, in two to three years after quitting smoking. So nothing is uh, irreversible. Uh, so when one can restore uh, the immune system, but it takes time. Uh, then uh, switching to uh, uh, alternative nicotine delivery uh, uh, tools uh, without using conventional cigarette 
uh, for one year after quitting smoking leads to merely slight modulation of um, uh, priming of uh, circulating neutroph uh, neutrophils and really uh, unexpected results was obtained for dual users which prefer to combine regular cigarettes and using the alternative uh, electronic uh, nicotine delivery tools. tools. Uh, at minimum, one can say that uh, the combination of conventional cigarettes and uh, electronic tools doesn't give uh, essential advantages in terms of uh, immunity modulation, but uh, this is certainly uh, um, uh, 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 we believe that uh, their use is certainly advantageous uh, since uh, um, uh, it just helps to uh, to um, quit, uh, just uh, 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 to quit smoking one day and uh, to use only electronic tools or, or uh, um, just quitting uh, consumption of nicotine at all. Uh, that's what, uh, that's all what I wanted to say today and I thank you uh, uh, for your kind attention and, uh, and we uh, all wish you a good health. Thank you.